Hey guys, welcome to Russell's Outdoors. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Roughwear Approach Pack. This is the size medium. We're gonna kind of go through a first look and to see the capabilities of this, so stay tuned. So as Lucas and I have been taking a bunch of day trips over the past few weeks, I wanted him to essentially get his own backpack, carry his own food, carry any toys that he has, carry any type of sleep system that he's going to be uh, utilizing while we're out in the backcountry. So I did stumble upon the rough wear, read a, a ton of reviews on this, uh, actually ran into quite a few people on my last trip at the Dolly Sods. Two dogs had this, it fit very well, I liked the way it balanced on there, the capacity looked right, uh, and it just looked very comfortable uh, on the dog. Now obviously Lainey here uh, hates this thing on her back. Now Lucas is another story. He doesn't mind having a backpack on him. He took to it pretty pretty quickly. And the one that I purchased uh, was a, a little bit of a cheaper brand just to see if he actually liked it. And, and again, he took to it like, like nothing. So I wanted to upgrade to this. I've been eyeing this up. Now, one of the things that I love about this pack is the fact that, again, it's very well balanced. You have five points of contact on here. You have a chest buckling system. It's a three-point contact, and it doesn't seem to have any points where it's going to cause any chafing or any uh, uh, snagging of uh, skin. The underside here, as you can see, has two additional buckles, uh, one for a chest, one around their waist. These are all fully adjustable, really, really padded very well. The back side of this is padded very liberally. Uh, so to me, it, it just conforms. It looks like it shapes uh, and balances and it looks comfortable and I bet it is pretty comfortable on this compared to the other one that I used to have. There are two zippers on each of these pockets, one on top, which is a smaller, uh, you may be able to put uh, maybe some snacks up on top of there. The side pockets are very cavernous on either side. The top of the pack has this very nice lashing on here, which I'm probably gonna put some bungee on here and have uh, Lucas carry some type of uh, pad on top of there. And just to show you how much room there is inside of here, what I've done is stuffed inside one of the pockets. I have a down pillow and a Thermarest Neo Air in a large. So this is a good size comparison to show just how much room there is inside of here. And on the other side, we have two collapsible dog bowls. And these are fairly large dog bowls here. Uh, one's a water bowl, one's a, obviously a food bowl. And I have up to five cups of dog food in here, which weighs just slightly over a pound. So at one point I actually had 10 cups of dog food, just to show how much room there is inside here. And a 10 cups is roughly around two pounds. Now you definitely want to be cognizant of what you're putting inside the pack here. Up to 25% of the dog's weight. Now Laney here is around 40 pounds, so you don't want to go over 10 pounds. This here is, again, the medium size. Uh, this probably could have went to a small, although the pockets would be a little bit smaller, but size-wise, this thing fits her very well. Now, Lucas, it's a little bit too big on him, but he still runs around, obviously. Uh, it doesn't shift or anything like that. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't come loose or anything. Uh, this thing really does fit well. So the other cool thing about this, it has actually two points of contact for your leash uh, attachments. One is this, uh, looks like aluminum, real nice, sturdy. The other one is this more cloth. Uh, I guess really it doesn't make a difference. I I've used both and I've had no, you know, there's really no difference to me. The material on here is very, very thick. Looks like it's gonna stand up to uh, quite a bit of abuse. Um, I guess time will tell on that. The other cool thing is, Roughwear does make these packs in multiple colors. I opted for the blue to kind of stand out in the woods. There's really nothing blue in the woods, so I'll be able to see Lucas from quite a distance when he's running around. Let's take a look at some of this footage of Lucas uh, having fun with his backpack. Oh 
Again, guys, for the money, I think this pack is going to hold up very, very well. Uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description on Roughwear's website. They do make a ton of different packs uh, for dogs. Again, this is the medium. Uh, Lane here is uh, about 40 pounds. Again, she could have probably went with a small uh, for this breed of dog, uh, but to me, I think the medium actually fits perfectly. So it's also nice to have a little bit bigger of a size so you're not really cramming stuff inside of here. But again, 10 pounds is probably the most you would put inside here and I probably wouldn't even do that. I'm thinking for a quick overnight that I'll probably be doing, maybe you know five cups of food let's just say that's a pound right there you know some type of air mattress some of these uh, uh little bowls uh i probably won't max uh more than five pounds on there which i think is a perfect weight for a dog to be backpacking with you really don't want to put too much on there but anyways guys check these out if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and i'll see you later I'll see you later, guys.